Everybody wants to achieve the film look, but how you can actually easily do it in DaVinci Resolve, which is already built in, I'm gonna show you in a few steps right now. So the film look is a very often used word and it's always kind of a buzzword right now. But actually what it meant is basically that um, before cameras went digital, it was recorded on film, on an actual film roll. And they had like several film stocks which gave the footage a certain look. And one that is very popular is the Kodak 2383, uh, which is very popular and also the Dark Knight has this look. And they go even that route today that they shot on digital and then print it back and film, get it into the computer that it gets that specific film look. But we can easily also achieve that look with DaVinci Resolve because it has built-in film emulation stocks, but you need to do some steps to do that. Now we are inside of DaVinci Resolve and I'm showing you uh, with these two clips how to achieve that film look. What we need to do is just we need to create an order of five notes. Um, I will explain to you why later. We go on to note three. Um, and we pop on the effect color space transform, which is right here. Now nothing has changed, but what the color space transform allows us to do is to switch our color space, which we need to do. And you can also go from log to rec 709 that way, but we want now the Cineon film look, which is basically required for that specific film look. So here, uh, input color space, we need to um, yeah, choose what we've shot and I've shot it on Canon, so Canon Cinema Gamut, and I've shot it in Canon Log 2. And now basically it is showing us a Rec. 709 because my timeline is also set to Rec. 709. But we want to adjust the gamma. Just for the sake of that everything is right, I put it here, Rec. 709. And now Cineon film look. Now my footage looks a little bit wrong, but don't worry. On the next note, we're gonna pop on our LUT. Therefore, we go on two LUTs, and here we have on the left-hand side film looks. These ones are pre-installed on the Vintage Resolve, and we can choose um, a few of them. Here we have also Kodak, Fujifilm. We have a bunch of them, and I like specifically this one. This have a little bit warmer look, and I think it looks really cool on that one. But obviously my footage looks a little bit too bright, so I need to adjust it. So now why I have two, why I have notes open or left open here? So that's because on the right hand side over here, we are in the color space Rec. 709, which is more limited in terms of dynamic range, colors and so on. And on the left hand side, on these two notes here, we are still in the Canon Cinema Gamut. So we are in a log gamut, which we have a lot of more control on. So um, therefore, I would highly recommend you to do these adjustments here. And we can even go very specifically, tell DaVinci Resolve on what it was shot that um, also what it's doing, it's more true. So therefore, we go onto the HDR wheels, go on these three dots here, go on color space again, Canon Cinema Gamut because this was shot in Canon and also Canon Log 2. And now everything what I'm adjusting, it is doing very correctly um, specific to that log curve, which is what we want. Um, so I will go on to my global adjustment to exposure and I will turn it down to around, yeah, a little bit more than half a stop. That one looks good to me. Now I can even adjust also the shadows because I want my shadows to be a little bit darker. I go onto my shadows and I make them yeah, half a stop darker. And already that looks to me very filmic. And I can also go even further and put in more blue in my shadows, which I'm doing right now. And I think for my taste that, that looks perfect. I'm just gonna name that um, yeah, exposure. And now basically that's very good. So let's have a look on before and after. And also compared, this is Rec. 709 and this is the film look. So I think this looks really awesome. Now let's go on to uh, my second um, yeah, clip that I have here. So same procedure, we go into color space transform, 
go on to node number three, go on to Cinema Gamut, Canon Log 2, and now it's showing Rec 709, and we go on Rec 709 because that's the color space we want to export, right? We want to deliver to our client. But for the specific film look, uh, we need that Cineon film look, otherwise it won't work correctly. So now I'm gonna use a different one. I use one of these cooler ones right here. I look, this one from Fujifilm also looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna do that. Note label, film look. You don't need to do that. I like to do it because when somebody else is editing it, they know right away what I've done. So, and I also go here into exposure onto my HDR wheels and also I tell the node in which or I tell DaVinci in which um, color space it was shot in so that it's replicating all the adjustment very correctly. So also here I yeah, will darken my image quite a bit. I think I go to yeah, a little bit more than half a stop. Something like that looks good to me. And I also want to go uh, have my shadows a little bit darker to have more contrast also. And I go on to my shadows. And even now, I think it looks pretty great. Um, I also, as here, I like to have my shadows maybe a little bit, a little bit bluer, not too much, something like that. And I think that's, that, that looks really nice. Call it exposure. So yeah, that was how you're gonna achieve inside of DaVinci Resolve the film look. If you want to see more about it, just subscribe to my channel to don't miss any of my upcoming content. And I hope to see you soon. Cheers.